Good afternoon, everyone. So, um, look at this question. If a reaction has um, enthalpy change greater than zero, the reaction will proceed favorably to the forward side at what condition? Now, this is a very good question that just requires you to just, you know, put some, you know, some things together. Now, look at this. The first statement is that the enthalpy change is greater than zero. Very solid question. Now, if you have this axis, you know that if this is zero point, everything greater than zero will be positive, and everything less than zero will be negative, right? So that gives you an insight that I can literally just say that the enthalpy change is positive because for it to be greater than zero, you must be positive. So minus one million is absolutely less than zero. So any number that has a negative sign is less than zero. So that is very, very important. So since it is greater than zero, that means the enthalpy change, which is the heat content, is what? Is positive. And for this, it is what? It is an endothermic reaction. It is an what? An endothermic reaction. That is, it is being absorbed. It is being absorbed. So if a reaction has this, we've, we've understood this. Now, what reaction we favor the forward reaction? Like what condition? We favor the forward reaction. I already said, I need this thing, right? That's why I'm endothermic. I'm absorbing it from the surrounding. So, because I need it, the only way you can favor me is to give me that thing. So, increasing the temperature of this particular reaction, by the time you increase the temperature, you will actually favor it. You will favor the forward reaction by just increasing the temperature because I need it. I did not have it. I did not have, I did not have it in excess. Like what? Like exothermic reaction. So I need it. So you need to give me. So once you give me temperature, I will favor the forward reaction. So that's just simple. So the answer to this question is increasing the what? The, the temperature of this particular reaction. Now don't also forget, it's because there's no reaction here. There are other instances where other factors can also increase you know, the, the forward reaction. Let's say by you know, constant removal of the product. You know, hope you learn something from this. So let me give you a question. Let's assume the change in um, its content is less than zero. So which condition will favor the forward reaction? Solve it and drop the answer in the comment section. See you in the next class. Thank you.